Hey friends, welcome back to some more Pokemon Light Platinum. Last episode we took down... Well, we didn't really take them down. We kind of just, like, went around, had a fun time, you know, battled some Team Steam members who decided that it would be a good idea to all synchronize their catchphrases and never say anything different. It was interesting, but didn't really work out too well, so it, it was a... Uh, a bit of a toughie there, but it's okay because we got ourselves the Alpha Scripture and did some things, so it's not bad. What? What do you mean? She's gotta find Team or Professor Jasmine now, otherwise some some sad things might happen. Let's see what's here. Hey, how's it going, people? If the dragon gets nervous, they'll use Dragon Rage. There are many items to make Pokemon stronger. Ooh, that's not bad. I don't have any Dragon Pokemon though, so that's. Okay, no, that's fine. Anyways, thank you so much for being here. We are going to be doing some more uh, battling of Team Steam, probably. You know, all their deals just... Oh, it's Route 417. Oh, this is so we can go all the way back to the thing, possibly. I could teach someone fly, but, you know, that... I don't, I don't know why I don't feel like it. Uh, I guess we gotta go see Professor Jasmine at some point, so we're probably gonna have to jump down this way, so we can fly back, so it'll be, instead of going all the way around, I'll probably teach Charizard fly at some point, I mean, it's not too bad, we got a Ke Kecleon here, pretty happy, let's see what item we get, ooh, TM47, I think that is, shoot, what is that, let's see, that would be Steel Wing, okay, we have two of those, I should probably teach someone that, that'd be pretty good in all honesty, Oh, this is near this part portion, right? I forgot about this. This is like the daycare thing. That's kind of cool. Well, let's go ahead and find Professor Jasmine. That's probably going to be the best thing to do. Got ourselves the Alpha Scripture, the final one. Here in Serenity City. Oh yeah. Okay. So you know what? Let's just teach Fly to. Uh... Oh shoot. Where do I get Fly? Oh, I'm gonna have to go all the way down. No, where do I get Fly? Hello. Okay, so it's actually in the city. Uh, is it this one? That's a hotel. Well, that sounds okay. You know, I, oh, I wanted to visit the hotel, but it seems like someone's locking the doors for some reason. It's like they don't trust me. I don't, I don't get it. I think it's this house. So I just gotta go upstairs, get this thing, because, um, gotta find fly. Gotta go fast. If you want to sort through the skies from city to sea, just see a Pokemon fly. There it is. So this is where you get fly. It's kind of random. I don't know. It's just like put here. For no reason, it's okay though. Let's go ahead, let's go use fly, boot that up, get ourselves some wonderful things. And Opa's the only one I can fly, but that's okay. I can probably replace Slash. I mean, Wing Attack does more damage, so I might as well replace Slash. Ooh, he looks very, very high quality in his picture there, Charizard. Looking all menacing and fierce. That's okay. I mean, if he wants to look fierce, he looks fierce. I believe in him. So, we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna fly towards Professor Jasmine, not- I think that's back home. Not entirely sure. Got a heal as well, jeez. Wow, there's so much! Gee, wow! I didn't even realize. Okay, so wait, this is... What is this? Oh, I haven't even been there, huh? That's interesting. Wow, there's so many places I haven't been to, like... Here's Central City. Oh, th these little, like, things at the top mean I haven't been there. And what is... This is weird. I'm not entirely sure. Wow, this is kind of cool, though, but... Okay. So here's Grawman City. That's Central City. And here is Yellowtown. That's the beginning of where we started. So not bad. Kind of funny, because you remember a Pokemon Yellow and whatnot. So let's find Professor Jasmine. I don't know where I can heal. Oh, there's a statue of Arceus there. I didn't even realize. Wow. Hi! I'm slowly walking towards you. Professor Jasmine, I managed to find the last part of the Alpha Scripture. Great, this tablet completes the scripture. Let me take a look. Should we destroy it like you did earlier? Incredible. Now that I know what this all means, I know why Team Steam is hacking Zarya and going after legendary Pokemon. I'll explain everything. The story begins in a place. Oh my gosh. Wait, do we see a cutscene? <gasps> That's so much better. Our story begins at the dawn of time before the existence of Pokemon. In the Alpha Universe, that was about to change. An egg appeared, which soon hatched, and the first and most powerful Pokemon, Arceus, was born. So I guess the egg did come before the chicken. Arceus was enormously powerful, but felt alone in an empty world. It was then that he created another world, the Distortion World, and Giratina, another very powerful Pokemon, chosen by Arceus to rule it. 
Garatina was also extremely powerful and responsible for the distortion world, a place as empty as the Alpha Universe. Arceus created still more legendary Pokemon. Next came Dialga and Palkia. Dialga was given power over time and Palkia over space. They became Arceus's guardians. Arceus created, st created still more legendary Pokemon. Arceus created the land, the ocean, and the sky along with Pokemon to watch over them. Groudon, Kyogre, and Rayquaza. Arceus created still. Okay. Now I got that. <gasps> Two more Guardians. Ho, oh, the Rainbow Pokemon, Guardian of the Heavens, and Lugia, Guardian of the Earth, were created. Next came Reshiram and Zekrom, Guardians of Life and Death. Oh, that's what they are? Cool. Arceus created still more legendary Pokemon. After that, Arceus created many more, many other legendary Pokemon, such as Mew, who was responsible for creating all the normal Pokemon. But recently, Team Steam disrupted the balance of the Alpha Universe using a very powerful radio antenna, which caused fighting between the legendary Pokemon. Arceus has been using his power to stop these battles, but the effort has been weakened by him. Giratina created with power equal to Arceus is trying to take his throne. Arceus is too weak to fight back. Now that Arceus tried and weakened from stopping so many battles, it's the perfect time for Team Steam to catch it and gain possession of the strongest Pokemon the universe has ever known. Alright, well that's some happy music for that wonderful story. Thank you. I, that, was, that was very uh, poetic and I had some themes. I liked where it was going. The plot was very, quite nice actually, you know. There wasn't enough Michael... Bay, though. Need more explosions. Team Steam became so interested in Arceus, the world's first legendary Pokemon, because it created all others. More specifically, their DNA stems from Arceus' DNA. That's great. Let me walk away, please. No. Oh, there we go. Well, we did it. I'm not entirely sure where we're going now. Uh. I don't know. Well, we're probably gonna have to fly somewhere, so let's do that. Let's fly back to. Drakenblatt City. Not bad. There's so many cool places everywhere. Wow. So I guess there's like an after game too. We'll probably get to that at some point. So let's go ahead and heal up and get ourselves all healthy in case we have to... I think that might let us take on the gym. I'm not entirely sure. I hope so because I'd really like to do that. That'd be kind of great. You know, eventually take ourselves into, um, you know, under, under the eighth gym badge wing. I don't know, you, I'm actually pretty excited to see who it is. Uh, usually they have pretty cool designs. Not entirely sure what it's gonna be up. Might be a little bit, uh... Hi. Jim Zimbrick closed. Okay. Oh, but he's gone, so I guess we gotta go through Mount Draken. Not bad. So let's go ahead and explore here. Uh, I would... No, I'm not gonna use any Max Repels. Let's try and find ourselves a 5th gen Pokemon. That'd be kinda nice. Maybe we'll... Get one eventually, what does this say? Got Mount Draken, still a little bit more. And on this side, got another item, got ourselves TM15, not bad. I think that's Solar Beam. Let's see if I'm right. Let's, it's always fun to guess things and see if we're right. 50? Hyper Beam, Ah, oh, well, at least I got half of it right. I got the beam correct, but that's about it. Yeah, man, no Pokemon are popping out. Anyone? Anyone? I guess, I guess not, just no Pokemon around. That's unfortunate. Hi. How are you? Wow, you really are predictable. Even after studying your movements, Team Steam doesn't know much about you, but we uh, we knew you were going to come here and try to interfere. What do you mean you predicted where I was going? I'm trying to find you. I'm not like... I mean... What? Of course I'm trying to find you. This is very... You know, this is like me guessing that I'm going to wake up tomorrow. Like, obviously I'm going to wake up tomorrow. I mean, I might not sleep. There's a possibility. But based on my, like, 20 years of being alive, I'm pretty sure I'm going to wake up tomorrow. Alright, you know? I mean, it's like, it's me too. Like, that was a hundred... Whatever. I have a chance. I'll catch Archie and I'll beat you here and now. All right, well, we have Percy. Jeez, at least they got the good music for this one. Oh, he looks awesome. I'm pretty happy with that. I just... I just typically like design and whatnot, so... You know, seeing a pretty cool design is awesome. There's a bit of a sandstorm, which actually helps me out as well, because I'm... Excuse me, jeez. 
Got some burps in me, my bad. So there you go, go ahead and crunch on us, jeez. Oh, wow, that's some damage. And he lowered our special defense, so that's pretty bad. Yeah, crunch in this generation is a special move, I think, so. Not very good. He didn't get to lower his defense, so that's unfortunate. Okay, so we'll probably have to send someone else in. I'm not entirely sure who we're gonna do. I don't want to send in Peffin Sleet. Um, possibly, yeah, we'll send in Electivire. We'll see how that does. I mean, I know he will have Earthquake, but maybe... Oh, I don't know why I sent an Electivire in a lot. I probably should have just sent an Opa, but... I really didn't want to get a uh, Rock Slided on, so... That would have been too great. I mean, I guess, uh, I just need to send someone in for fodder in all honesty. We're gonna go ahead and Thunderball. Maybe he'll be able to take him out, because I know he would outspeed. I just don't know if he's gonna take him out for sure. No, not even close. That Sandstorm is really helping him out. Jeez, because it does, it does increase your defense and your defense, your defense, <laughs> and your defense and your special defense, so you gotta, gotta be careful with that one. Just gotta keep Thunderbolt in here just to make sure we're okay. Ah, unfortunate. Almost took him out, but just, just a little sliver of health left. That's okay, you know. It's like you're making a making a sandwich and you got a little sliver of bologna left. You're like, ah, oh, man. Now the now the meat to ham, or sorry, the meat to mayo and lettuce ratio is all off because it's not gonna cut this. But then I don't have enough for another sandwich. It's just, it's a really tough ordeal, and I think we need to you know discuss it a little further just in case anyone's left in the dark about that because the the ratio of mayo to meat is very very much important, and you don't want to forget about that. It's really uh. It's almost life-changing, I would have to say. We're gonna have some battles here. We're gonna have Garchomp versus Opa. Good thing the ground moves aren't gonna do much, but he is gonna resist our fire moves times four, so I'm probably gonna have to use wing attack or something. That's gonna be the best. Unfortunately, he also has, uh... He has that move that increases his evasiveness in Sandstorm, which is really, really bad, actually. He has Crunch, too, which is an... Oh! oh -ho -ho! No damage, I see. That is what you do not have. Oh, no, you have... No damage, you do not have damage. Those double negatives always get me sometimes. You know, when you're trying to make a little bit of a funny and then you just kind of kind of roll over and then, oh no, there was jam on the floor? Why am I rolling on the floor and there's jam there? I hate when that happens. It's just, it's, it, it, well, it depends on the jam. See, if it's strawberry, I'm kind of upset. If it's raspberry, I'm a little more upset than the strawberry. But if it's like, I don't know, if it, say it's like a blueberry, I'm okay with that because I'm wearing blue clothes at the moment. It can blend in, you know, I'm perfectly happy with the situation at hand because it's now blue and we're filled with uh, wonder, wonder. Oh man, I really, look at that dragon claw. That's so, gr I don't know why, I just, it makes me so happy to see that because in all honesty, I don't know, it just reminds me of the simpler times in Gen 3. So I don't know if he's gonna take me out more than likely, but I'm trying to bank here on the fact that uh, I'm gonna just use on the fact that the sandstorm might help me out a little bit because my defense is pretty good. Ah, unfortunate. I thought he might be able to, but he didn't. Kind of sucks. We're gonna use Peppin Sleet now. I don't have any fast moves, which is kind of bad. I probably should have sent in Peppin Sleet versus um, Tyranitar, in all honesty. But I don't know. Just as fodder. Who knows? Okay, we're gonna go ahead. We're going to more than likely just faint attack. Oh no. No, 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 no. That's really bad. Shoot. Uh, well, I guess I might as well just Shadow Ball instead then. I mean, it's physical too, so. Okay, I hope this doesn't take me out. Garchomp's so broken! Aw. Oh. oh well. Do I have anything with you? I'm gonna have to revive Opa more than likely. Oh, I'm sorry, Uncle Steen. I can't. I don't know if I want to risk it. Well, I do have. Oh, Garchomp's so busted. He's so powerful. All right, let's go ahead. Let's just go. Let's go and revive. Uh, or revive Opa because that's probably the best thing to do here. We could use Quick Attack from Electivire, but I mean it's pretty much the same deal here. Same ordeal. Deal or deal. You know, there's only two options here, and you can either deal or you can't. That's the show that we're... It's not a, It's not as popular as a show, and it's kind of at 3 a.m., not the best primetime slot. But, I mean, I guess some people kind of enjoy it sometimes. Not, 
Not all the time, but you know, it happens. We're gonna go ahead and wing attack. We're gonna finish this guy off. There's Percy, Dragon Tamer, and Legend of some sort. You know, we're kind of going to Greek mythology here. Or was it Greek? Or is it? No, it's Greek. Um, you'll never be strong enough to stop Team Steam. Well, so far... Well, actually, I can't get through the game unless I stop you guys, so technically I probably will. I'll accomplish Team Steam's goals at any cost. That's good. You're just gonna walk inside. I need to heal, actually. So we're gonna have to make our way back here next time on some more Pokemon Light Platinum. So thank you all so much for being here. And I'll see you next time for some more Pokemon Light Platinum. Please make sure to leave a like and subscribe. And I hope you enjoyed, because, well, that's all these videos are for four. Are for four. Are for enjoyment. So we're gonna make our way outside. We're gonna do some things. The next episode. We're gonna take down Team Steam. See you get see you all then. I sometimes I forget, I'm sorry. It's all good though. All good.